hello everybody and welcome to another youtube video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the concept of the scatter plot matrix so for us to understand a scatter plot matrix you actually have to understand what a scatter plot is so basically a scatter plot is a diagrammatic representation of the correlation coefficient or we can say it is how we visualize the strength of correlation between just two variables okay so if i have just two numerical variables and i want to get the and i want to visualize the strength of correlation between them i'm going to be using a single scatter plot so something like this so let's just say i have to come to graph i come to chart builder and i can see the scatter plot right here i have several variations of scatter plot but if i'm going to be visualizing just uh two numerical variables i'll be clicking on a scatter plot this right here and it brings out this dialogue we have the y axis we have the x axis so one of the numerical variable is going to be on the x axis and the other is going to be on the y axis so let's just pick let's say car width on the x axis then we pick car height we place this on the y axis and once we are done you know like you can play around all of this and set a color a size you know and then once you're done once you're satisfied you click on ok it runs the code and then you actually have the scatter plot of car height by width you can actually edit the scatter plot and then you can actually bring in uh, a regression line okay add a fit line at total so you can click on that and it actually gives you this regression line that defines the relationship between the two variables obviously i want a linear regression line you can also have quadratic cubic or all or any of those and this is actually uh, a scatter plot for the two variables the car height and the car width we can also see right here we have the r squared which is actually the coefficient of determination and then we also have the the regression equation right here but what if you okay let's just go back to the data set but what if you actually want to visualize like the scatter plot of like five variables at the same time meaning wheelbase car length car width car height curb width we want them to interact with each other we want to plot the scatter plot of wheelbase with car length car length with car width car width with car height curb width with wheelbase we just want to have a combination of scatter plots with the two variables with the variables rather interacting with each other so what we have to do is also come to graph we come to chart builder and then this time we can just um bring in this variation of scatter plot you see a scatter plot matrix right here and you double tap on that it changes the whole thing down to scatter matrix so you can select any number of variables that you actually want so we can just say uh this you hold down the control button and you select this 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 and this let's just say like that six of them then you can drag them down here and once you do that it selects all of those variables and it drops them right inside here so that's that about that then you click on ok immediately it runs the code and it gives you a scatter plot matrix of these six variables interacting 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 with each other so here's a scatter plot right here we have nothing here because we'll base against wheelbase it's not supposed to like interact okay so this is actually scatter plot for wheelbase and car length this is scatter plot for wheelbase and car width this is scatter plot for wheelbase and car height so it's more or less like a combination of all of the variables interacting with each other so we can actually go further and uh, edit this and we can actually introduce uh, a regression line just like we did for this single scatter plot right here so we click on this okay and you can see it's actually so let me uh, make this bigger it actually uh, gives us a regression line for each of those guys then you can actually do any edits that you actually want to do based on your preference and this is how you get the scatter plots excuse me yeah this is how you get a scatter plot matrix for variables if you learned something new from this video and you actually also enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this youtube channel thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one bye for now